everyone, Amy here with Amy Swears, and I'm going to do some stunning stenciling with metallic gilding polish. Now this gorgeous new stencil is part of the October release at A Colorful Life Designs. I have some black regular heavy white cardstock. I did put pixie spray on the back of the stencil, and I'm going to use this rich red gilding polish from Creative Expressions. So I'm going to show you a couple photos of the finished cards. I did actually make two. Um, I normally usually just make one before I go and clean the stencil, but I decided to try and get a couple out of this out of this process. So I'm going to um, put down this beautiful poinsettia stencil, and I'm going to press it down with my brayer, and I have just some dedicated blending foams for all the colors of these that I have. I had a little piece of plastic or hair stuck under there. So I'm gonna brayer that back down again, and then I'm gonna open up this uh, gilding polish. You can see that uh, plastic in there is actually uh, press and seal. I use that to keep my polishes and all my gels and stuff from um, drying up. So you can see I kind of just create a ridge along the edge of the jar, and then I just kind of press it flat or scrape it flat on the top of the blending foam. Um, and I'll kind of reapply as needed, but I try not to put too much on there um, just because I don't want it to kind of wiggle underneath the stencil. The Pixie Spray does a pretty good job of holding it down, um, but it's a little bit of a learning curve getting the right amount. But you don't want to go too thick because you don't need to. This isn't like a, a paste medium in that way. It's more just like a polish and it kind of goes over really thin and it dries really quickly. So I'm just kind of filling in all the openings um, and then I will carefully peel it back to show the amazing design. You get so much detail um, and then shimmer from this beautiful metallic polish. Now normally I would run and go put this in the sink and start cleaning it right away because it really dries that fast. Um, but I decided to kind of go for a second one just since I had everything out. So um, I want to brayer this back down but it's got all the stuff all over it and I don't want to get it on my brayer. So i um, trying to figure out the best way to press it back down and then I ended up just grabbing a piece of paper towel and using the brayer to press it down. Um, I did have a little bit of a hard time kind of getting it off. I had to soak it and kind of really come at it with some soap in the sink to get it off. Um, there's a little tiny bit left on the stencil. Um, it's more like a staining. It's certainly nothing that's going to, you know, Im impact any future stenciling. But just bear that in mind. If you do kind of push it and go for two of them, then it might be a little bit harder to get this off of your stencil. But again, it's not going to affect the stencil at all. I was just being a little fussy about it and trying to get it all off but here I'm doing the same thing pulling back the stencil and now I have two gorgeous panels and honestly by the time I cleaned up the stencil and wiped off my work surface these were completely dry that's how fast they dry and there's no transfer at all so even my like nouveau shimmer powders that I absolutely love you'll get a transfer on those but on this nothing so here I have these reverse sentiment strips from uh, Simon says stamp if they're still available I'll link them below in the video description box but I thought these would work really nice for a simple um, small black sentiment on the front of these cards I'm just kind of shopping around for my options here I have a happy holidays and the other one says joy to the world so here's the finished cards I attached them to card bases they were covering the full card front so US four and a quarter by five and a half inches added a little bit of blingage and that's it so two quick and easy impressive shimmery stenciled Christmas cards ready to go for my stash so be sure to check out the rest of the October release there's loads of gorgeous stuff and use my coupon Amy Fan 10 and save on your complete order thanks for watching bye